Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I got it today with um, the Google Chrome update that fixes 23 security flaws. I get it almost every time that I talk about, you know, updates for security. Of course, um, there's Windows updates that has Patch Tuesday for security updates. Uh, there's all the software that get updates all the time for security browsers. You guys know that. You know, Chrome and all the browsers get security updates. And of course, the question that always comes every time is, why so many security flaws? And why is it impossible to create code that does not have security flaws? Well, it's just impossible um, for several reasons. First of all, the way that software is designed, often each layer and each part of software is created by different teams. Then you put things together and have it working together. Uh, same with Windows. When you look at Windows, what's happening in Windows is that there's so many different uh, sections of Windows that are created by a different Windows team. And it has to fit and work within uh, all of it. That's one thing, which means that all the parts that are created, when they put all of that together to make it work, what can happen is there could be security flaws that we don't know about. You don't see a security flaw unless you are absolutely searching for it. You don't know necessarily that in certain circumstances, code can crash. Um, an example of that is you might be doing something with a browser and you are sure that your code perfect, it works fine, but you're not going to you know, you're not a security researcher. You're a creator of software. You're a coder. And so for you, the main thing is it has to work well. But you might not know that that new code you created, when it's used in a very, very specific way, can create, for example, a memory leak. And that could be exploited for, you know, by hackers or it might crash in such a way that it opens a flaw. And this is, you know, human nature. We're not perfect. The code we create is not perfect. That's why there's a lot of talk about AI creating code, saying that AI's code might be perfect or close to perfect. Then again, there's also the other side of AI might create the most impressive ways of, you know, hacking into code and, and finding flaws. So, um, it's just simply impossible. The nature of how complex all of this is and the fact that you test the code to do a certain task, you do it well, and the code is probably very good. It's just that you don't necessarily know that in a certain circumstance, it might create a flaw that is used. And that's what happens with all of this. That's why there's security researchers these teams of security researchers are there to scan that code, try different possibilities with that code, try to break it in a way. And when they do, well, they just found a security flaw. And that's the way it is and will always be. There's just no way to create perfect code. The other thing is that a code could be safe for a while, but because of the introduction of some new other code, suddenly that code becomes a security risk. And it's all different things that are impossible to really uh, think about when you create that code. That's why everywhere there's security flaws. People that you know, say, well, Linux is safe, doesn't have security flaws. It does. It has tons of security flaws. It actually has updates to fix security flaws every single week. And there was a series of articles in the past couple of uh, weeks about how there are so many flaws that are in Linux that were not discovered until recently that have been there for years. Same for Mac computers. There are security updates all the time. Once again, it's impossible to create the perfect code. And a code might be safe for a long time until something else comes through. Uh, just look at the microcode of the Intel processors. You know, when the Spectre and Meltdown happened, 
you just discovered that, well, this is a flaw that's been there forever. And it took years for it to be found. But once it was found, it was like, oh, look at that. It's been there all the time. It's just nobody had discovered that there was a flaw and there was a possibility of exploiting a flaw in certain circumstances. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.